Not that long ago, if you wanted to make a record, someone had to pay for you to go into one of these temples of technology called a recording studio. Cost and complexity kept all but the lucky few out of professional studios. The door cracked open in the 1980s with home recording, based on multi-track cassette tape, notably the Porta Studio. By the end of the decade, home recording had morphed into digital audio workstations, recording environments based on hard disk storage on a computer. This revolution brought new people into recording, but it also created a whole new world of untrained recording engineers and acoustically untreated spaces. Today, a studio is not so much this as this. Although it's possible to fix anything digitally these days, you shouldn't underestimate the value of getting better quality recordings in the first place.